Hello my dear students, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and uh, uh, today I am going to uh, conduct another class. Uh, this is our lecture number 2, number 9. That is from page number 64, uh, exercise 6b. Here, uh, number 2. Uh, we have to calculate this. So, uh, let's start. Here, 7 by 12. 7 by 12. And uh, at first, uh, we know uh, if uh, we have any mixed fraction, uh, we have to convert the fraction. We have to convert the fraction into improper fraction. So, let's convert this. Uh, here, division and uh, 2 times 3 that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 by 3 and here multiplication uh, and 2 by 5 uh, we have to if there is division and multiplication uh, in the same line then we have to uh, do division first uh, then multiplication so uh, here uh, first uh, fraction is uh, 7 by 12 and here at first uh, we have to convert this fraction into its inverse fraction into its, its inverse uh, then change the division into multiplication so uh, here uh, we have to change division into multiplication then convert uh, the fraction into its uh, uh, reciprocal that is inverse so if we uh, write the inverse of 3 uh, 7 by 3 that will be uh, 3 by 7 3 by 7 and here just uh, put uh, the same fraction here uh, 2 by 5 uh, now do multiplication uh, here uh, 7 in the top and uh, here 7 in the uh, uh, as 7 as a denominator so we can divide uh, both numbers uh, by 7 so we have if we uh, divide 7 by 7 uh, then we have 1 and here also we have 1 uh, now uh, we see that uh, here 12 and here 2 so we can divide both number by 2 uh, so here we have 6 and here we have 1 if we divide both number by 2 uh, 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 here is uh, it is 6 and here is 3 so we can divide both numbers uh, by 3 so uh, if we divide uh, this uh, 3 by 3 then we have 1 and here we have uh, 2 now we are out of multiplication so uh, now uh, do multiplication uh, here uh, with the top numbers uh, so we have 1 1 1 uh, if we multiply uh, 1 into 1 into 1 then we have 1 so uh, here put just 1 here uh, uh, now uh, denominators are 2 1 5 so if we multiply this uh, then we get 2 into 1 that is 2 into 5 that is 10 uh, here is the answer So in uh, number 9, uh, there are another two maths, uh, uh, hope uh, all of you can do it uh, yourself. Uh, okay, uh, here is another one, uh, uh, number 10, uh, one of number 10, uh, that is also from uh, page number 64. Uh, so uh, let's read out the question here. Uh, here, flowers are planted in 5 by 6. Of a flower bed that has an area of 20 meters square that means 
total area of the flower bed is 20 meter square and uh, flowers are planted in uh, 5 by 6 of the total area 5 by 6 portion of the total area uh, what is the area of planted flowers in meter square that means you have to find out the area now you, you have to find out the area uh, where flowers are planted so uh, here uh, we have uh, total area total area of the flower bed is uh, 20 meter square that is given uh, total area of the flower bed is 20 meter square and flowers are planted in 5 by 6 portion of the total area that means we have to uh, do multiplication here so uh, flowers are planted in 5 by 6 portion of the total area so uh, the area of the uh, planted flowers so Uh, the area of planted flowers is uh, here uh, earlier we have say, uh, I have uh, said uh, we have to do multiplication here uh, so here we have total area 20 and the portion is 5 by 6 that is a meter square so we have uh, if we cut uh, uh, here uh, uh, both number 20 and uh, 6 uh, that is uh, uh, we can cut here 20 and 6 by 2 so if we cut 20 by 2 that is 10 and here we have 3 so do multiplication here uh, 5 in 5 into 6 that is 50 and here only 3 we have to convert this fraction into a mixed fraction so uh, if we divide 50 by 3 then we have 1 times 3 that is 2 0 20 6 times 18 2 so we have 16 whole 2 by 3 at meter square so equals to 16 whole 2 by 3 meter square that is the answer um, okay uh, uh, here is a uh, number 2 of 10 uh, uh, here uh, we have the question uh, that is Ahmed has 4 kg of oil that means Ahmed, Ahmed has uh, 4 kg of oil uh, 1 liter of the oil weighs 6 by 7 kg that means uh, weight of 1 liter oil 1 liter oil is uh, 6 by 7 kg so uh, how many liter will he have that means in 4 kg uh, if we convert this 4 kg into liter then how many liter oil 
Mr. Ahmed has. Uh, we have to do here uh, division. Uh, we have to do uh, division. That is, uh, we have to uh, divide four by six by seven. Then we have uh, we will get our result. So here we have six by seven kg oil equals to one liter. So four kg oil equals to how much? We have to uh, divide four by six by seven liter. So equals to uh, here four. Uh, if we uh, change uh, this uh, division uh, into multiplication, then we have to uh, in uh, we have to uh, inverse the fraction. So seven by six liter equals to now divide by two that is two and we are three. So we have fourteen by three two liter. Now uh, convert the fraction uh, into mixed fraction. So if we divide fourteen by three then we have uh, 4 times 3 that is 12 and we have 2 here as a remainder so here 4 whole 3 by that is 4 all 3 by sorry 4 all 2 by 3 liter so Ahmed has 4 all 2 by 3 liter oil so, Ahmed has 4 on 2 by 3 liter oil. That is the answer. Uh, here uh, is another one. Uh, that is number 3 uh, of 10. Uh, this is the last one uh, from this exercise, 6B. So here, Mr. Sajjad had 24,000 taka. Mr. Sajjad had 24,000 taka. He donated 5 by 12 portion. 5 by 12 portion of his money to an orphanage. That is, uh, he uh, donated uh, 5 by 12 portion of his total money that is 24,000 taka and uh, 3 by 8 portion 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution uh, what amount of uh, money was he left with that means uh, 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 he uh, donated uh, 5 by 12 portion and uh, 3 by 8 portion of his uh, total from his total money from his total money so uh, here we have to at first uh, we have to find out uh, uh, how much uh, uh, that is how much portion he donated so here Mr. Shadjar donated total five by twelve plus three by eight portion so uh, here 
uh, here we have to uh, find out the LCM that is uh, uh, LCM of 12 and 8 is LCM of 12 and 8 is uh, first we have to uh, divide by 2 that is 6 4 and do again by uh, 2 that is 3 2 so we have uh, 2 times 2 that is 4 times 3 that is 12 and 2 that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 equals to 24 so here in CM is 24 so here uh, we have to divide LCM by denominator that is uh, if we divide 24 by 12 uh, we have to then multiply the result with uh, the numerator that is 5 5 into 2 then we have 10 okay uh, I am repeating again uh, here at first we have to uh, find out LCM of uh, 12 and 8 here we have the LCM that is 24 now uh, you have to divide uh, the LCM 24 by uh, denominator denominator 12 so uh, if we divide 12 24 by 12 then we have 2 and then multiply the result with the numerator that is uh, uh, we have 2 then uh, here 5 2 into 5 that is 10 here and put plus here again uh, just uh, divide 24 divide 24 by 8 then we have 3 and uh, multiply 3 with uh, 3 that is 9 so here uh, we have 24 and 19 by 24 portion uh, that means uh, uh, Mr. Sajjad has uh, uh, donated uh, total 19 by 24 portion of his uh, total money so uh, uh, what am uh, what portion uh, he left with uh, if uh, he has full portion one So he has left with total portion of the money is equivalent to one. Then how much uh, he left? So we have to do subtraction here. Uh, if we uh, we have to subtract uh, 19 by 24 from uh, 1 that is 1 minus 19 by 24 portion so here we have uh, 24 now uh, denominator is 1 and here 24 so LCM of 1 and 24 that is 24 now uh, uh, divide 24 by 1 so we have the result 24 then multiply the result with this one so we have 24 minus now divide 24 by 24 that is 1 and uh, multiply 19 by 1 that is 19 portion uh, here five portion so uh, he has left with uh, five by twenty four portion now uh, the total amount is twenty four thousand 
and uh, he has left with 5 by 24 portion. So, uh, what amount of money he has left with? Uh, that means uh, he has 5 by 24 portion of 24,000. Okay, uh, so here a remaining amount of money equals to twenty four thousand that is uh, five by twenty four portion of this amount so we have to do multiplication here so uh, here we have twenty four thousand uh, into five by twenty four taka so here we have Uh, if we divide uh, this one by 24 then we have 20 uh, then we have one and uh, here 1000 uh, just uh, we can divide 24 by 24 that is uh, one and the remaining zeros three just put here uh, so here we have 1000 into 5 then we have 5,000 taka. That is the answer. Okay. Uh, in our uh, next lecture, I will start chapter 7. I uh, get ready for that and just keep practicing. Okay. Uh, thank you all. Uh, no more today.